Okay, so here's the item you'll be bidding on. Um, it's a Kelty High Sierra Appalachian 75 pack. So it can hold 75 liters worth of stuff. Um, I personally think you can probably hold a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of some of the features here. Uh, you got some D-rings up at the top so you can attach some more gear. This strap here uh, centers the overhead pouch. It comes back here, you can undo it. Uh, it has two separate compartments for like keys and different things right there. There's one and two. These connect down here which you can torque down and compress to make your pack a little bit more tight. Then it has uh, you know, the 12 essentials for survivals on the inside. Um, this is a chute which can extend all the way up creating even more room for this pack. It can also be scrunched down like this so like if you have like a wet item or something like that maybe you like swimming or got rained on you can put wet stuff up here and not get the rest of your pack uh, soaked along with it. Um, inside this is pretty basic rather large compartment I don't know if you guys can see inside there um, on the side, we have some more compression straps. Uh, you can undo those. has the side compartment here. Um, up front, it has, this is something I particularly like. It has um, a, a little pouch here, which you can stick like your map or other things in. It also has more connections so you can hang stuff off of. But what's really nice is that you can open it from the uh, center of the pack. So when you pack stuff, you can just get in right here instead of having to go through all the top, which has been something I really have liked. Then you have another side compression, and on the same side you have another side compression pack. All these packs are pockets are pretty big. Then you have like little spots here, uh, they're made of a little mesh. You can stick like your water bottle, or I've stuck my like tent poles in this and run it up the side and then compress it before which that's been pretty nice. You have these two straps here which compress and create loops for the bottom so you can put your sleeping pad or carry other items down there if you would like. Um, if you undo these you can get access into the bottom pouch and that's in here and one other nice thing feature about this pack is that you can zip it up so you have two separate compartments like that or you can leave it unzipped and then have one really large compartment for whatever it is you need to stick in there also um, it comes with a rain flap inside and it's just kind of tucked away nice and neat inside there other features about the pack um, you can adjust the fit size to your exact fit just by coming from back here and uh, adjusting it that way. Also has some more D-rings. Um, I've put like a GPS inside this, but I mean I guess you could carry a cell phone if you went out. But um, you probably wouldn't get much signal. So the GPS, that worked really well in there. And then you have your normal chest com compression and uh, this normal belt with a pretty good sized pad. All in all, uh, it's been a really good pack. Very, very durable. And, um, yeah, good luck bidding.